subscribe to m code and ring the notification bell to get the latest content so the next tool is mongodb so this is also one of the most popular big data technology in the data community right now so basically mongodb is a document based database so if you talk about the databases and the type of databases there are like two major parts the first one is a sql databases and the next one is a no sql databases so no sql databases means your data is not structured but it has it is a semi structured database so no sql means not only sql so it has way more capability and flexibility in terms of data solution so basically no sql databases have like different types so their sub types are nothing but the document based database column based database and the graph database so in document based database mongodb is the is the market leading database so it is nothing but it stores the data in the type of json format which is also known as the bson which is the native format for mongodb so if you can consider a one record in mongodb is nothing but a document which is nothing but structured in a composed key value pairs just like the structure of a json file so if you know about json you know about the format of mongodb and also mongodb will provide you a connector to able to work with apache spark and all its spark libraries which includes scala java python and r so we are going to see how apache spark connector works with the mongodb once we cover up all the integration parts so this was all about how to integrate with mongodb so to integrate mongodb with apache spark we have a simple script which will write the data to mongodb first by by creating a collection so collection is nothing but you can see it as similar to table in the relational database and also we will read the data back using the spark.read method so we have a simple script known as mongo spark.py so I, so this else this file is also present in our github repository so you can go ahead and download it using the wget i'll be giving the path in the description below so you can let me know if you face any issues so this file is already present so let's open it in the nano editor so just open the mongo spark.py file so this is also a pretty simple file the first but here we are going to use the rdd because we haven't used rdds so let's get you good understanding of how you can create rd as well i know it's not used widely right now but you should be having a good understanding of the basic syntax of rdd at least because it's a core api of apache spark so the first step is you have to import the spark session from pyspark.sql you got like the row from pyspark.sql and also you got to import all the functions the first step is you have to provide a structure of your rdd which uses the parser input function so parser input function nothing but takes the lines from the file and then use the delimiter so it will use the split and this file is like the pipe limited file so that's why you have given the pipe as the delimiter here and it will return like all the fields present so it will return the row which has the user id at the zero field we got the age at the one field gender occupation and zip etc let's see about this let's see this file to understand the structure of our data file so this file is also present in the github repository which is known as movies.user so let's head back to the github repository and let's see the move movies.user file so as you can see this is the file so if we compared it so if you opened it you got the user id you got the age of the user then you got the gender of the user the occupation of the user and then you got the zip code where that user resides this is a pretty simple file and you have to and since it's a pipe limited file that's why we have given the pipe delimiter here so as you can see we got to create the spark session which is entry point and the spark mongodb integration is our so mongodb integration is our application name so and the next thing is like you have to create a rdd so you are building the rdd on top of the user's data file so this file is present in hdfs so we are leveraging hdfs here to store our data file so let's say we got 
the mongodb folder inside maria underscore dev and you got the movies dot user file so if you go ahead and go into the sandbox and we will just go ahead into the spark and the maria underscore dev you got like the mongodb file already created and we got the movies dot user file already present if you don't have it and obviously you shouldn't be have shouldn't be having it so just go ahead and create a folder named mongodb and upload a file that similar to what we have discussed while integrating it with the hadoop so just go ahead and open this and here you got the file structure similar to that file so just make sure that you got a right file structure and the file is not corrupted so just cancel this and let's head back to the code once again so we have built the rdd on top of the text file which is the movies.user and then we got to use the parser input function to use the map to provide the structure to our rdd so here the final rdd is user but to simplify the integration let's convert that into the spark spark data frame here so you are using the spark dot create data frame and we are going to pass the users rdd this function will convert your rdd into the new data frame which is users data set so once you got the data frame the integration to mongodb is pretty phenomenal and seamless the first step is you have to use the right method remember for writing the data you got to use the writer method for reading the data you got to use the reader method it is so simple as that and the format here is pretty crucial the format is com.mongo.spark sql default source so this is the data format you have to use while reading and writing the data from mongodb and here you have to give the location for your mongodb so basically your mongodb should be enable on the 127.0.0.1 port and you got to give the collection name you want to create using this so i'll just create the users collection inside the movies data so you have to make sure that you were you are giving this information correct because it will head back because it will throw an error if anything messed up in the mongodb service details like the format as well as the port which you are listening to and also we are going to use the append mode here and use the save to save that data into mongodb and to read the data it is so simple as that so to read the data we are just storing the data into read users and we are going to use the spark.read method and the format is again simple which is similar to the write so read and write will have the same format for mongodb and also the uri is also same because we are going to read the data back from the users collection so this is also similar so to get the data so now we got the read users data so what are we waiting for just show the data so first we will just use create a temporary view on top of it and get and just sim and just give like a simple sql command of top of it so we will just give going to select all records from users where the age is less than 20 this is simple sql query so without wasting any time let's submit this application on to the on to the spark cluster to able to read write and read the data from mongodb so the spark submit command will have few additions here so to able to connect mongodb with apache spark you have to provide the package which is nothing but the connector so you got to provide the spark mongo connector in the argument as the package so the first thing will be like you have to give the spark submit then you got to pass the parameter as the packages and the argument would be like org.mongodb.spark and you got to give like the connector here so you have to make sure that you are giving the connector otherwise it will not able to integrate and connect a mongodb with apache spark and at last you just have to give like our file which is like mongo spark.py this is very simple if once you execute this your apache spark will communicate with the mongodb using this connector so basically this connector is the only bridge between both these services so to integrate every external tool which is not native to hadoop with apache spark you have to use the connector which is provided by the tool itself or the technology itself so once you execute this there will be a lot of groundwork it has to do so as you can see we got the 
artifacts and all other information here so you will able to see the data in very quicker time because that data file doesn't have that much data so it will write the data very efficiently and get you the output within seconds so as you can see it already got the results so as you can see we have the id so this id is created by the mongodb itself so this is unique to all the records so you have to make sure that you are getting the id here because id is by default will be created while creating the collection because this was not the part of our uh, of our data file you got the age you got the gender occupation user id and the zip and format is also looking good so this is how you can integrate apache spark with mongodb and similarly you can do with cassandra itself but the procedure is quite difficult so i'll highly recommend you to experiment it and the exercise would be like to connect apache spark with cassandra and if you face any difficulties in that you can let me know in the comments and we can have another lecture of integrating apache spark with cassandra okay so that's it for today i'll see you in the next lecture